Okay, I think we are basically ready to go, more or less. Let me turn the volume, make sure the volume's down, let me adjust that. Alright. I think we're good to go. Let's get this going. Let me swap it over. Yeah, and when you leave it on the title screen now, it just does the intro. Anyway. Okay. So, as we kind of noticed, the title screen adjusts when you get more party members and stuff. So, I think Goombella gets added in and Koops get added in when they join your party. I'm going to assume the rest of your party members do as well. Uh... Maybe Peach and Bowser get added in once you do the first uh, little story bit with them. Maybe. I don't know. That's interesting. Oh, it shows who's your current party member. Not that it's really needed, but interesting. <clears throat> so... Last time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we entered Roadport and got mugged. Because, you know, this is Roadport. We went to Battle Meadows and got our first Crystal Star. Uh, and then we, uh, we played as Princess Peach to find out she got kidnapped and made a, a computer horny for her. And Bowser found out Peach was kidnapped and decided no one is, else is allowed to do that but him. So he's off to Roadport. Now, we need to head back to the Thousand Year Door to find out what we need to do next. Not the best intro, but, eh, I don't know. Not the best at improv. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do is talk to everyone and see what they have to say. Because they gotta have new stuff to say now. And I do want to uh, tattle Coop's father. Take care of young Coops, will you, Mario? Looking forward to the day my boy comes home full, a full-grown Koopa. That's Koop's dad, Koopley. He seems kind of out of it. Are all Koopas space cadets? Then again, Koops is, re is really with it. Maybe that's because his dad is like this. Anyway, Koopley does worry about Koops a lot, so I guess he's a good dad after all. I'm pretty sure everyone has something new to- oh wait. There we go. I'm pretty sure everyone has new, something new to say. Take care of Koops, please. Is there different dialogue if you leave town and come back? What did you say? You defeated Hooktail, too. You really are cool, mister. Hey, wait a minute. Could you be that super famous guy? That guy named Luigi. Yeah, you look just like him. And I'm right, aren't I? I just want to see what everyone. What do you mean Koop's father was living inside Hooktail's stomach? Wow, Koop Koopley rules. Hooktail bit off more than she could chew this time. Again, I, I think whenever. Wait, I was gonna say, how did he survive? He would have to eat, right? But, but Hooktail eats other Koopas, right? Oh no. <laughs> Huh? You say you beat Hooktail? That's incredible! Amazing! So I guess that means your adventure is finally over, eh? What? So we just begun? Wow, really? In that case, you better stock up on more items. I bet they'll come in handy. So, do you have new stuff now? What do we got? Uh, special moves and crystal stars, okay. Merly the Charmer. Okay, implying we can access Merly now? I don't know. Info on Coops. Leveling up bigger stages. Shaking up the stage. Audience participation. I don't think we need to worry about that. Enemies that ignore defense. Piercing enemy defenses. I'm just trying to see if there's like a bit of dialogue that may actually be useful from him. 
for someone that has already played Thousand Year Door. Maybe it's useful to you if you have never played the game before and you're a small child. Maybe. I don't know. But it's just a thought. The scent of this grass has healing properties, I swear. It just takes me to a happy place. You know what I mean? You think so too, right? If you say so. Fair enough. What do you say if I say yes? Fair enough. You... Okay. Oh, and we could grab this. Mega Rush P. Increases attack power by five when your partner only has one HP right left. Okay, so Mega Rush is the badge I'm thinking of. That's the Danger Mario strats. Okay. Oh, Murphy. Murphy. I was sure that you could get that crystal star. Really? Okay, then. I don't believe you. Rejoice! The fearful hook tail is gone and everyone is of good cheer once again. I truly hope that now people will begin to visit this village once more. I'm assuming General General White says the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. You deserve this. Hey, keep your hands off, uh, hands to yourself here. Everything is one kind of collectible. Okay, yeah. You say the same thing. Hey, I gotta say, I'm really loving my Nintendo GameCube. Best system ever. Am I right? He is right, you know. Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, I set it up for a new game. The sequel to Paper Mario. I just started. But it's a blast so far. A blast! <laughs> Be Hooktail. Wow! Hey, so tell me. Find any treasure? Uh, bet we did. Oh, okay. They say the Koopas who perish there curse the place with their regret. So anyone who claims the treasure will lose all his strength. Yeah, nasty, huh? So what do you think? You scared now or what? Ha! Huh, I'm just messing with you. Who needs treasure? Oh, okay. Oh, lame. None of your beeswax. Uh, he just says the same thing. Lame! Be cool if there was unique dialogue. Uh, another lovely day. The glorious sun shines down. My heart sings. This is a tease. No, I bet there's a whole world we know nothing about past Hooktail Castle. But wait, don't tell me. I want to see for myself. You know, explore like you. And there's one more character that I can think of. One of the shopkeepers. Well, not the shopkeeper, but this toad. Some rumor monger told me you guys defeated Hooktail. That's just a joke, right? What? It's true. No way! I figured she was gonna crumble, uh, crumple you up and throw you in her trash can. Too bad. I got, I, I defeated Hooktail. All right. Now that I talked to everyone of important, we can leave and head back. Gotta head back to Rogueport. You know, Mario. I just realized we found a crystal star, but not Princess Peach. Where do you think she went? I hope she's all right. Hey, you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a do you need a bathroom? Uh -huh. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in hope that you re it reaches you safely. I think this music's new. I think this music is new. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in a relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they called the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. They may be aware that you have the map. So please be very careful. 
And please, don't worry about me. Princess Peach. Wow, wait a second. Isn't that from Princess Peach? The princess? So that means she's okay. For the moment, anyway. Well, that's better than not knowing, right? And now we know another thing. Whoever kidnapped her is also after the crystal stars. We should get back to Rokor and start searching for the next crystal star. Pronto! Alright, uh... I feel like there was something I was gonna check. Uh... We don't have every star piece here. Obviously, there was the one hidden under the ground. And we don't have every shine sprite here. I don't... Might have to come back now and think about it. I don't know. I think we'll just skip past some of these enemies. At least the ones that are here. All right. Off to Roqueport Sewers. I think we should just head to the Thousand Year Door first. And then we'll do like the cleanup on Roqueport. Because I think we, we can explore more. Ah. I tried. And there we go. Yeah, head down this. Wait, we don't need to head down. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's go down this way. We can explore over here. What is through this door? Hello, welcome. I'm Merly. Underground. Cute as can be. A charming charmer. That is me. Lucky for you coming here. I grant good fortune. Have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well. For lucky sits on for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Wanna give it a try? Are you ready for a taste of power? Hell yeah, I am. That's good. That's great. Choose your path of fate. Which path do you choose? We want the special path. Okay, that's fine by me. So ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you win the style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine just since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. So now in battle, there is a random chance uh, she'll appear and activate some sort of buff. It could be an attack buff for a turn, a defense buff. Mm, I think double coins and double EXP. It is random. But the special path means you get the, you get a lot more uh, turns, I guess, where it's activated. But that's definitely one I want to make sure to, if I have the money, uh, keep activated. Wait, is there anything? In... Yes, let's go in here. Now where there are no enemies right here. Um, no, we can't make it. Can't make it. Have to do that later. Okay. <clears throat> can't do anything about that block. Uh, we'll go in there later. Hi, Molly. What's going on? There we go. Back at the thousand-year door. Oh, wait. 
The Thor. We go through the Thousand Year Door. I'm being surrounded by ants. I think that. I need to think. I think I might need to do a little bit of spraying in my room. My place always has ant prop ant problems, so yeah. Uh, do, yes, shine sprite. Let's go. <clears throat> but if we go through this door. Enter. This pipe leads is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. Press attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware. Uh pit of a hundred trials. This is something we will want to go through eventually, at least even just halfway through. But I know for a fact I well I, I just don't think we can make it through. I think we'll come back to it, and we might do an attempt later. Oh! Coop, both party members show up here. Okay. Okay, Mario, you ready? Hold up that crystal star up. Do they both say anything else? Molly, hey. You're, ne you're being needy. You're being needy. My dog wants attention. I noticed the, the one of the light of the doors activated, and I'm pretty sure that's kind of how it was in the original. Except I think it might have just been an outline. Oh, the other crystal star is still on the map. It's kind of weird. Oh, check it out, Mario. The location of the next crystal star has appeared. But I have no idea where that is. Okay, I guess we ought to show the map to Professor Frankly. So Koops appeared in the cutscene during the light show but that really doesn't mean anything. I see, I see, crystal clear. Yeah, great blunt, great pun. Come on, where's the next crystal star, Professor? Hmm, it's in Bockley Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in, in the Bockley Woods, uh, okay. About those woods, I think some old, some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath the town that leads to those woods. By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. It said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the crystal stars. Oh, and the worst part? She said that she doesn't even know where she is. Oh, Molly, come on. Come on. Up. Come on. She's being very new. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Up. Up. Come here. Come on. There you go. Okay, hold on. She wants attention. My dog's needy. She's a very needy dog. She needs the attention. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're, you're so needy. Uh-oh. If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars... What... <sighs> What could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many answers. Or unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can really rely on are the Crystal Stars and that map. Oh, yeah. Right, Molly? Then we'll head for Bogley Woods to find the next Crystal Star. Let's do it! Yes, I recommend you do, you do just that. To find it before the Princess Cap... Uh, before the princess's captors, whatever their ultimate goal is, can't be good. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items and health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching and learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. All right, Molly. You gonna go find the? You gotta go to Bogley Woods. Gotta go to Bogley Woods. Yes. Uh huh. So one thing to note: this trash can. 
is currently empty. However, if you uh, there's the tattle ability that you can uh, use with Goombella, right? There is a tattle log, and this is not in the original. A, ta a, a tattle log was added in Thousand Year Door. You know, that's something that the original Paper Mario did not have. If there is a character in here that is only fought, like, once... Okay, she's done. Like, for example... Hooktail. If there is a Tattle Law character that's only fought l once, like Hooktail, for example, as far as I know, anyway, then the Tattle Log for that character will be in the garbage can here, meaning you can fill it out. So that way, like, there's no missable, uh, there's no missable ones. Oh, it's Luigi! Hi, bro! Oh, well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinkity. Eh? What am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair from the Waffle of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, alright? She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If, if you gotta know, I met, I met with some Waffle King, uh, Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty intense, bro. Wanna hear the what happened? It's a long story. Yes, I want to hear this. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We didn't get uh, so much mail, so I was thinking, huh, this is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Craig. I am a cabinet m minister of the far off... In the far off Waffle Kingdom, Mario already fell asleep. He's already bored. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Craig. Well, I don't remember exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone. It fell to me to answer the, this plea. Hesitating, hesitating only a teensy bit. I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no. First, I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking. Then I left. Once I reached the wa Waffle Kingdom, I met Mr. Cray, who filled me in. Then the Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracles said the Marvelous Compass could locate her. This Marvelous Compass has been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the Marvelous camp Compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded with the t in the tiara wo worn by the princess, I'm surprised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base, spoken in Waffle Fables. Waffle Fables. When I activated, the entire thing lit up, indicating the deep south. I was pointing it was pointing towards Rumble Bump Rumble Bump Volcano on the pud on the pudding continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rokeport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably going to be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. Want to hear something else? Cool story, bro. You want to hear what I've been up to? Just come and find me. I'll be around. Who's this guy? Come on, you really need to ask me that? Give me a break. That's your brother, Luigi. But I wonder why he's here. I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. I'm pretty sure we now have three Shine Sprites. Which partner do we want to power up? Okay. Multibonk or Shell Shield. I think Multibonk... Well, wait a minute. Hold on. No, I, 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 I don't think we'll need Shell Shield. I think Multibonk will be fine. Shazibi! Shazubi! Oh. 
Care to power up more? I can't. Return someday. All right, we got that done. Okay, I want to take care of that scenario. Let me first go over here and make a save. Let's see. I'm at full health. I only lost one HP. I think I'll be fine. Alright. I want to go take care of Gus. I'm pretty sure you could have done this. You know, before chapter one. I just wanted to save it. Hold up now if you want to pass through here. Ten coins. I can take ya. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. All right. Let's start with tattling on him. Okay, that's Gus. He's super annoying. He tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP 20, attack a three, and defense a zero. On all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I'm sure it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people for pass uh, 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Yeah, that's part of the reason why you kind of want to wait. At least until you get coops. There we go. So. I will go ahead and you. Oh, I don't have the power slap smash. Okay, never mind. Power smash would have actually been okay here. I don't need power shell. It's not going to do anything, so we'll just stick with normal attacks. Yeah, you can't jump on him, so... Yeah, kind of best to wait for coops. Shell toss. There we go. Go and start breakdancing. Bingo! Not that it matters. Because I still have full FP. Too bad I don't have, like, spike shield or something. Okay, and another shell toss. Here's the thing, you could do this on the first one. It's just that Goombella just can't do anything. So putting Goombella in front and just having her defend is probably not the worst idea. Let her defend while Mario uses his hammer all the time, you know? You can easily go that route. <clears throat> and it's all good. Okay, it's right when you hit him. Yeah, super guard him to death. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this off. It's ridiculous. Oh, pull this stuff. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Well, it, it did solve this one. Hey, this area is the turf of Ishnail and the uh, Robo Band of Thieves. I don't know what brings you here, but if you think you're gonna meet the boss, heh. <laughs> That's Swindell, the, band the bandit. At, at least I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. The east side has some of the worst crime anywhere here in Rogueport. And everyone who lives around here is real tough. And street smart, too. I mean, when you don't have any money, you gotta be tough just to get by. That's Arthur. 
He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. Let's take a look around. Can't go in there. Uh, can't get in there. Can't do anything else there. Oh! I don't remember you being here. Hiya! I'm Ian Fumas, the infamous Info M Mouse. Ian Fumas. <laughs> okay, I get it. I know things. Things are things worth knowing. If someone's if someone's trouble is giving you trouble, I'll share my info. But it will cost you. Think of it as a tip for a tip. You have taken on anyone's trouble, so my info won't be as much use to you. Come talk to me after you accepted someone's trouble from the board over there. Wait, hold on. That's infamous. The infamous info mouse. He gathers intel about folks in trouble instead of helping them. If you're stuck on a request from the trouble center, this smug little sleuth probably has the info you need. But that info costs as a price comes at a price. So only ask him if you're really stuck. Know it alls. Such a pain, am I right? Hey, is this your first time in the trouble center? Then I'll explain how our services work. Listen up good. This trouble center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. If someone's helps someone out, and they'll give you a reward. Probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve the trouble, you have to pay it to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Oh, uh, okay. Huh, okay. Holy, whoa. Uh, there's a, there's a lot to do. Oh, and you know what? I bet you, if we did, so if we did this in like before chapter one, I I think like maybe these would not be available. Maybe, you know, something like that. Anyway, they call me Garth. I have lost my key and thus cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back of end at East of Rogueport. Yeah, we'll take it on. Do it and do it right. Can we accept? I have a simple task. I need something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Square. This is something I was really hoping they fix. Letting you to do multiple troubles at once. They still didn't, don't let you do that. Uh, I was really hoping. You took on my trouble. You? Okay. Then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get into my get in my house. So I so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bat shop. But I'm not sure. All right, let's go take care of it. Yeah, right now we're gonna spend a lot of time taking care of side quests, taking care of the trouble center. All right, off to the bat shop. I wanted to go there anyway. I want to see what new badges I could possibly get. There, we got the house key. Easy. What do we got here? Last stand. FP Drain, yeah, I've seen that. Happy Flower, Simplifier. Sleepy Stomp. That could have some fun. We could have some fun there. We could buy Sleepy Stomp and Super, super Appeal. Hold on. There's something I want to check. And I think it's available. Yes, here we go. Hey, 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 yo! I got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. Hammer Man, which we can't buy. We can buy Ultra Shrooms, Earthquakes, and Boost Sheets. His stock of items changes. I think it's based around like every in-game hour or something? I'm not 100% sure how he fully works. Maybe I'll hold off on buying some... 
Ah, oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Something in the matter, sir? Uh, huh. Eh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? <laughs> hmm. Wait just a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry. We don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? I'm looking at the those pictures in the back, and I'm trying to see if I recognize what they might be referencing. They're so not detailed at all, but it's, like, hard to tell. But I feel like they're referencing something. Um, let's hold off on buying things for a second. Buying Hammerman would definitely want... It would want me to change my playstyle. Dear Mario, thank you for shopping at the Toad, Bro, uh, Toad Bros Bazaar. We're writing to let you know that the contact lens you ordered is now available to pick up at our shop. Assuming you can see well enough to read this email, please stop by at your earliest convenience. Okay. So we could have got that going, like, right away. I see. Okay. It's all good. Garf. That's Garf, part of the ro uh, Robo Gang. I'm pretty sure he's related to Gus. He looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't judge folks on their looks. Did you find my key? Yes, my key! I can finally get inside my house again! Thank you! Oh, home sweet home. Please take this as payment for your efforts, alright? 30 coins. I mean, it's a simple quest, you know. Got the trouble solved. Let's go inside. What do you have to say? Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. Just don't mug me. Nothing. I still have the frog sound effect on. Eh, it doesn't seem to be anything in there. Uh, let's start up another trouble. We want to meet Bah. Oh! It, oh, okay, it just ends up at the bottom. Okay, I was a little confused. Meet behind Zesty's house. Okay. Let's check back here. Uh, I don't like the fade to black. It throws me off. <clears throat> Hey, if you come all the way here, you must have seen some serious dangerous action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. That's Pierre. He sure does seem to have a lot of free time, doesn't he? Where it is, he's been bustling, uh, busting his tail lately to catch his eye on some on the, of the crime boss, Ishnail. Trying to get, uh, get, us, get your eye on the boss, eh? Why don't you just go through the door? What do you want, chump? If you ain't got business here, then beat it. That's Ishnail, leader of the thief band called the Robos. He he really hates Don Pianta. I guess that's to be expected since they're bitter rivals and everything. He's had some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who knew? Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no beating? Yeah. Guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all wah. <laughs> That's Gus. He's part. Okay, yeah. Because it's Gus, she says the same thing. Wait, I, I'm I apologize. I forget to do so. I'm not after for playing Thousand Year Door for twenty years. You're not used to bonking people on the head, you know? It's not something that's necessarily programmed. But I will fix my mistake. There, there we go, I have fixed my mistake. Oh, wait, one more. There we go. All right, so let's go let's talk to you first, actually. <laughs> hey, value customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Yeah, we gotta take care of this. 
Only ten. All right. Doesn't cost much. Get that taken care of. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. However... Oh, so it's you again, huh? Mr. Stomp-a-lot? Well, my name is ZST. I may not I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life, and culinary magic appear happens. Want me to whip something up for you? Yes. What do we got? Let's start with the turkey leaf. We can only cook up one item. Well, that lasts a lot. Of fa that goes a lot faster. I'll take it. We got some Koopa tea. It is seven FP. That is way. The Koopa the Koopa leaf was three FP. Yes, it's just a straight up, up upgrade. Let's use one of the mushrooms. What do we got? Oh, you can skip it too. Take it, Stompy. Mushroom Fry. Six six HP, two FP. It is a straight up upgrade. Uh can honey syrups be used for anything? Let's see if they can be used for anything. Alright. Cures conditions like poisons and ref refreshes 5 FP. It's still an upgrade. I don't think there's any reason to not use the honey... To not cook up the honey syrup at the moment. Yeah. We can only cook one item at a time right now anyway. I don't think there's a reason not to. Let's cook up another mushroom and then we'll leave it there. There we go. I don't think, well, I don't want to test out the life shroom. Cow blocks, fire flowers. You know what, let's test out the fire flower. I feel like the fire flower needs to mix with something, though. I, d I don't know if it can be used by itself. Oh, no, it can. 4 HP and 4 FP. Spicy soup. Never mind. Okay. Interesting. So now that we've started cooking, we have recipes. That's it. I've come up with a new recipe. Made by a mushroom or a super mushroom. So the life shroom might be for something else. Another cooking of fire flour. Turtley leaf. Made by uh, steeping honey syrup. Okay. Oh, I unlocked chapter one tracks. This was for all the shine sprites. But... Wait, I, okay, whatever. Let's get rid of all, all of this, I guess. Well, uh... think. Hmm. 
I don't remember what Think is, though. Anyway. I guess we'll leave it there. We got all the Shine Sprites in Chapter 1, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's go visit, uh, the Trouble. Let's go take care of it. Guess we need to talk to you. You never know who will be watching. Let's do this quick. Take this package to Goomfrey. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. I try not to be seen. It's a box. So, since I bought the contact lens... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save my money because getting a badge from the... Uh, the Wandering Merchant is more important because they cycle through. Package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell McGoomba I said so. And do me a favor. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give McGoomba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to McGoomba. Meaning, yeah, just to let you know, no, you're not done with this. You gotta go back. You gotta realize that these first missions could be done before Chapter 1, so they're pretty easy and, like, you couldn't really go far anyway. Did you deliver it? Phew, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck. You get something good. Yeah, more coins. Alright, let's go start another one. We can also explore the west side, too. Probably take a look through there. Too bad we can't get that treasure chest right now. There, apparently, there are ways to get that treasure chest in the GameCube version if you do some weird glitching, but I wouldn't even know how to begin, you know, to even attempt that. This is Arthur. I want to open a new shop, but I need some help setting up, uh, setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor's shop, I need some research done. I need prices for Fire Flowers, sl uh, Sleepy Sheep, and t Tasty Sonics in Rogueport. I'll meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. Simple enough. <laughs> Did you check the prices for me? Not yet. I'm counting on you. Remember, I need to know what the Topo's Bazaar charges for. Fire flowers, sleepy sheeps, and tasty tonics. Let's take a look. Granted, if you have them memorized, you could just probably tell them now. Five flowers, sleepy sheeps, tasty tonics. So. Ten, eight, three. Keep that in mind. Ten, eight, three. Let's see. Yes, I did. I'm ready. First, how much were they asking for fire flowers? Oh, like, come on. Like, you probably didn't even need to check. It's this simple. Ten coins. I see. And for Sleepy Sheep. Okay, this one, I can see why you might want to check. Okay. How about Tasty Tonic? How much is that? 198 coins. Wow, that's rough. Those are some low prices. Can't believe they're selling that low. Even if I tried to compete with them, I don't think I could profit. But it is certainly helpful information. Here's your reward. Good luck. Or good work. 30 more coins. Let's start the next trouble. 
Hey, 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 my name is Goopther. Please find the guy that pulled off the credit card fraud from on me. I'll be in Roquefort Square, so come talk to me. I forgot that actually comes into play in the trouble. While we're there, we'll go check the wandering merchant. Well, let's check the shop first. Buy all the awesome products. Take a look. Oh, I can't buy ham Hammer Man. Not yet. I thought it was 220, not 240. Hey, you're here to handle my trouble, aren't you? Then listen up. Larson, the bandit, pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up a bit. But the guy is too wise. I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere here in Roquefort, so I want you to find him. By the way, bandits are those guys that, in blue outfits, who wear masks. There are several in Roquefort, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this, and you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you. Larson was the one that mugged us. So he's back here. I always have to think he's still back here. Yeah. You got some kind of problem? You think you could just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous. No one's snooping around. This is, it's the perfect hideout spot. You got some kind of problem? Uh, he's just saying the same thing. Oh, that's not Larson. Okay. Oh, maybe it's the bandit on Oh no, it's the one hi hide him in the alleyway. Okay. I got him confused. Got him confused. Back here. You're Larson. You got a problem? What are you looking at? Unless you got business with me. Scram! What? You want me to return the money I swindled? What are you, a f the fraud police? Sheesh, how did I let myself get caught? Okay, well he ran off. If you could do this before you really start chapter one, that he's not on the west side. Uh, he could be anywhere, he could be at the harbor. Take a look. Come on. Come on over here. We'll check inside the building, but he could be at the harbor. Why does this seem like there's something behind here? Like, there's that weird light. It just looks like there's supposed to be something here. It looks weird to me. Alright. We'll check the harbor. But he could be up top over there. I also didn't uh, go back here with Gumbella, so I don't know what she says. Oh, there he is. This is Roqueport Harbor. Ships come here from all over the world. Everybody is always working their tails off down here. No wonder it's totally sweaty. Sometimes this area is all stacked high with cargo from with all the ships. The water smells pretty rank. But that's like the magic of a port town, you know? Anything? Oh, you. Hey, you're Mario. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Oh, well, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. Oh, he's going to Dry Dry Desert. I forgot he, you know, references the first game. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chances have come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. Yeah. Thank you so much! You won't regret it. I'm still accepting investments. Yeah, we'll ignore Hammer Man. I think it's better to do this. 
I think you could do a max of 300 coins. Listen, mate, you run, you, you'll run you run into all sorts of trouble if you don't keep your eyes peeled. This is Rogueport, after all. The town's rotten with crooks, thieves, and hooligans. That's a bob -omb sailor. He does the basic harbor work, like loading and unloading. He's kind of gruff, but he seems to have pretty decent advice. Pretty okay guy all around. No matter how much, no matter how much I work, it seems like I'll never, never get filthy rich. Of course, it ain't like I got a choice. Got work to live, which means. <laughs> Out of my way, bilge plump. Move your bloomin' buns. That's P uh, P Patch the bomb. He's a real salty sailor type. Totally active guy, huh? Yeah, he looks pretty burly, too. Guy loves the strong go-gators, huh? That's Lumpy the oh, Ratui. His dream is to strike it rich by finding oil. Guy admire the dedication. Guys like this make me want to chase my dreams harder. Still, when I talk to him, he seems more like he's just up for whatever, you know? You know what I learned? The world is a full uh, is a, is full of strange and mysterious places. Yep, I sure would love to go see them one day. That'd be a logical nightmare, though. This is Rookport. Har oh, no, Kumbala. There we go. That's a toad sailor who works here at Rookport Harbor. I hear he loves his family so much that it's hard for him to go on long voyages. Who? Me? Well, I'm a bit down. My older brother left port just the other day. I wonder how he's doing now. I just hope he comes back in one piece. That's a toad sailor. He seems pretty freaked out to be a sailor. But hey, I always hear him worrying about his brother, so maybe that's why he's so tweaked. You know, speaking of which, you don't exactly worry about Luigi much, do ya? Wait. There we go. Fraud police, you don't give up easy, do you? You can't make me pay. Let's see, another toad. Not that you care, but I gave up my life's dreams. Now I just stare at the sea. I walk around, alone. I wait for a ship that never returns. Life stinks, do you know that? By the, by the sound of it, something bad happened to the sailor and now he hates the sea. Sounds so sad. I wonder what he thinks about when he looks at the ocean. Oh yeah, we got ships from all over the blooming world coming in and out of here. Well, what do you call them? Longshoremen, like. We load and unload cargo all day. That's Bomb Birdo, a bob -omb. A bob -omb sailor. He's small, but he's a super hard worker. He doesn't just sail either. He loads and unloads stuff too. Look at those muscles. So yeah, uh, I think it's worth your time to invest in him. You do have a time limit to do so, like... So I think that is more worth it than getting Hammer Man, maybe. I don't know. Larson's here somewhere. He's running around, we still gotta find him. The frat police! <laughs> Shoot, you're serious. <laughs> Fine, I'm a man. Do with me as you will. Hey, 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 hey! Looks like you caught him! Nice, here's your reward. 30 more coins. So, since it looks like you're all dough, I'll take out I'll take it out of your hide. Eek! No, please! If we get 100 more coins, I think we'll invest. And I, again, I think he has a 300 coin cap, uh, cap. And we are talking long term, you know? So I think it is worth it. Even if you could just get like 100 or 200, it's probably a good idea. 
Massimilian here. I need some help jogging my memory. Meet me in Rogueport Square in front of the shop. Didn't do it right. This one's pretty easy. Again, ones before chapter one are going to be easy. And here you go. Here you are. You accepted my trouble. I smell. Thank you. I found a good idea on the way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. So, I want you to use shock treatment to try, uh, try to remember it. Or I want to use shock treatment to try to remember it. Yes, indeed. Just keep hitting me in the head with that hammer until I remember. Be careful. Hit me after I remember it. I'll forget again. Okay? Let's do this. Yo, use B. Yeah, just keep hitting him. Make sure to give it a pause. But that's it. I remember now. I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop in Rogueport and sell it for a two-coin pro profit in Petalburg. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll let that tip be your reward. Don't spend all, all those profits. You know what? We might take him up on that offer. Or... So, I'm going to store... Uh, let's just store the mushroom for now. Because I'm pretty sure we're going back to Pelberg soon, so we'll grab a sleepy sheep. Yeah, so basically what you... That, that's basically a soft tutorial telling you, hey, shops will buy things at different prices. Or, uh... Or some shops have items for cheaper, meaning you can make a profit if you sell them at a different shop. Or, you know, something like that. I don't know if every item's like that, but it's telling you you can make money that way. This is Bomberto, and I need you to do some shopping. Please come right quick, because I'm starving. Meet me in Ropart Docks. We're going to be heading to Pellberg anyway, so I might as well make a two-point profit. to the docks. Come on, where are we going? There we go. I think Bomberto's down here. Move it, you land grabber! Oh! Huh? Oh yeah, right, right. You took my trouble, eh? My, w my wife brought my lunchbox to me, but it was empty when I opened it. I'm so hungry. I give you walrus whiskers. You gotta bring me some something to eat. How about it? Uh, let's see. Uh, whatever. Anything, as long as it's food. Now get to it. How about a mushroom fry? Hey, that looks right tasty. Yep, that hit the spot. Now here's your reward. Eleven coins. Hmm. I don't know if he always gives you eleven coins. Or maybe the reward is based on what item you give him? I'm not sure how that works. That's something I would want to look up. Because maybe there's a, uh, a better item to give to get a lot of coins. here, start another trouble. It's me, Kupuk, the wandering hide-and-seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now. If you find me, I'll give you a member's card for Pianta Powler. Think you can do it? Really? Uh, yep. This is the reason why I wish uh we can hold off on doing or we could do multiple troubles at once because I would totally because there's multiple hooktail trips there's multiple hooktail trips and I would totally love to all right I would totally love to just be able to 
uh, not go to Hooktail and just do, like, wait until I can do, like, all three of them at once. There's, like, three... No, there's, like, two reasons to go back. Whatever. But because you can't do multiple troubles at once... I know we need to go to Hooktail Castle. And I think we'll just do that. We'll just do this. Because one of the troubles is going to Pedal Pedalberg, so we'll do that on the next run. And if I if I am correct, I think I know where he's at. But sadly, because there's no fast travel, we have to actually go through this. I think I'm going to try to avoid a lot of them. Never mind. Let Koops focus on this. I don't want to take the time to swap to Goombella. Now oh, the regen's helping me. There we go. And how about we power shell? I missed that timing. Oh well. There we go. Yeah, we only have like three star points for that. We're over leveled for this area. It's not worth fighting anything in here. Oh, we got a fire flower. Might use that up. We need to go get him out of the way, I guess. Might as well just use the fire flower I just got. Get Couldn't get away from him. I think in this case, it is better to power shell. Not getting that timing right. Yeah, it's way faster than power shell. Could really use an FP plus soon. Yeah, the ants. Uh, is that where we want to go? No, we don't want to go that way. No, wait, no, we, we want to go that way. Yeah, okay. No, this way. Up here. I think we could take this short cut. Oh, it all resets. Dang it. That would have been a faster route. But no, we gotta go the long way. See my problem with this? You think some of that would have been was stayed as they were, but no, it resets. I think it has to go the long way. All right, this is where I wanted to go because I think he's right up here. 
There he is. Uh, I was hoping to get past him. Okay. I don't think it really matters. And then we'll have coops. Again, it's not really worth fighting anything in here. Too strong. So, you found me. Curses. I felt sure that no uh that none would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much. I just never stop. It was a hobby, but I kept hiding, and soon I was known as Hide Seek Koopa. Koopook. I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we were barely shell high. Coops? Is that you? I don't remember this dialogue. Yes, Coops! The same Coops who always had it, uh, had to be it when we played hide and seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you finally did it. Yeah, I remember back then. That one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right. That was the very day I decided to become the hide and seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I've had... I've hid and snuck and snuck and hid my way through life. Yep, that was a big day. Well, since you found me this time, I'll give you what I promised. Yeah. I found this while I was traveling and hiding around the world. I don't need it. Well, I'm off. Time to look for a new hiding place. Wish me luck. I guess I've still got a lot to worry about hiding if you found me, Coops. It was nice seeing you again, though. See you later. Oh, I was gonna tap. I was gonna. Have Goombella tattle him. Oh well. We're done here. Time to head back. Yeah, this is my problem with doing some of these tattles. The ones. Uh, not tattles. Some of these troubles that make you go through Hooktail Castle. There's no fast travel back. Again, this is one of those cases where I wish they let you do multiple troubles at once. Because I would have totally just not done this one and saved it for way later. So that way I wouldn't have to do multiple trips. to road port. So we head back to the trouble center. Come. Yeah, I can't make it there in time. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we can't get that treasure chest for a while. That's just gonna taunt us the entire time. We saw that re weird creature go down the pipe. But we're gonna ignore him for now. Is there really? Like, there's just... There's ants everywhere. over here. And what's next? Will someone please come and talk to me, please? I'm waiting out the pink house in Pedalburg. And this is why I knew we were going back. Pellberg again. Now I can sell the sleepy sheep and I can get another turtley leaf.
Backtracking, isn't this fun? This is the Thousand Year Door experience right here. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do the side quest, you don't have to. But how would you get all the money? Good to know Mario's faster than normal Goombas. Yes, outrun them. Okay, made it. Let's first go and sell the sleepy sheep for a two coin profit. So, we talk to you. So. Sleepy sheep for ten coins. There we go. Two coin profit. I wonder if there's anything here that can be sold in rogue ports at a profit. I mean, the fire flower you buy for 10 coins at... You buy it for 10 coins at rogue port. But how much does it sell for? What do we got? Mushrooms, no, no. Mushroom fry. Well, not the best option. What you could do, you could go here, stock up on normal mushrooms, go to Zest Tea, and cook them into shir uh, shroom fries, and then sell them at a one coin profit. Spicy soup, no, that's, well, that's not worth it. Keep the tea. I mean, that's just a four coin, well, you get the one leaf here, you go to Zest Tea, you cook it, and then you sell it for four coins. Fresh juice, pound blocks are sold for two, curd shells. Yeah. As far as I can tell, there's nothing here specifically. <laughs> But I think I would need to actually check the other store and see what I could sell there. Because maybe it would be a good idea to do like a back and forth sort of thing. Well, well, Murphy, you must have gotten my request. Good, good. Should be told, I've been a touch lonely here with no one to talk to. Since you're here, why don't you relax for a bit? Indulge an old Koopa. Oh, I tell you the truth. I got a few things to say about kids these days. Their tempers are too short for their own good, for one. Makes me want to give them a good stern finger wagon. Why, I was shopping at the Tobo's Bazaar the other day. I was trying to pay, and my coin purse was stuck closed. And the kid behind me said, Hey, geezer, want to pay so we can get out of here before the sun goes down? Now, I may be a geezer, but sundown was clearly taking longer than I was, clearly. Speaking of sundown, reminds me of dating the missus back before she was the missus. Uh, always had have, always had to have her home by sundown. Yes sir, her pa was an absolute maniac. Yep, I keep my eyes on the sun and off the faces of my missus, gentlemanly, eh? Actually, it was sort of awkward, kind of blinding, in a painful sort of way. Eh, just thinking about it makes me feel awkward. Hey, this is memory grand. But that's not what I was talking about. Where was I? Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. Kids today, they know nothing about patience, I tell ya. I want to stand up and yell, Hey you punks, be more patient, right now! Speaking of which, I think I proclaim, proclaim, uh, proclaimed my love from the missus in a loud voice. Yep, she was having, she was leaving on a train, and I yelled it, yelled it from the platform, like in a movie. Now, uh, what was it that I yelled at her? Something about her shell, maybe. Oh, wait, I think it... I've strayed from my main point again. Oh, wait, did I? Anyhow, me and the missus were madly in love. Head over shells, I tell ya. No, wait, my point was something about the kids today, right? Uh, whatever. Oh dear, 
Miss, uh, sweet missus, the way you co uh, comb my eyebrows, such tenderness. Huzzah! Oh, sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you get my point. Sorry, you had to listen through all that. Wasn't too boring, though, I'd wager. I'm just happy to get a little FaceTime with the youth today. Oops, I forgot to set out the tea. Aren't I, aren't I old ninny? My apologies. In fact, I haven't even added the hot water part. Awfully sorry. Awful sorry. Yeah, boy, if you cook a turkey will you leave, you can make some amazing tea. Oh, and if you change your mind, you can come back and listen to me yap any time. He gave us a leaf when we could just do this. Not that good of a reward. But him telling you that it can be turned into tea is useful information? I guess? Is it though? That's ultimately the purpose of that one. Just telling you you can turn the leaf into something better. Granted, you didn't really have to do anything, so I guess the reward being underwhelming is not the worst. I mean, it makes sense for what I had to do. I don't know. I'll probably make a few more of those teas, though. And if we have to go back to Petalburg, then I might grab another Sleepy Sheep. Not sure, though. I think we have one more trouble. We're almost ready to actually start Chapter 2. <laughs> almost. Been spending this entire time doing the troubles. Might as well check Tobros and see if anything can sell for a profit. Our shop inventory is low, and I need someone to help me restock. Please come to the shop in Roqueport Square. Well, I was gonna head there anyway. Let's see what he has to say first, and then we'll probably buy some stuff. 91 coins. All right. <laughs> hey, welcome. Oh no, uh, inside. <laughs> welcome, yes, welcome to Toad Bros Bazaar. Oh, you accepted my trouble, huh, fella? We're having a really hard time fighting curd shells. I need you to bring us five from anywhere you can find them. It's five curd shells, I'm counting on you. Well, we got one already. We're gonna have to buy from Pelberg. Okay, well, I wanna sell. Yeah, two coins. Uh, 20 turkey leaf for two coins. Koopa tea. If you notice, could be sold for four coins, if I'm correct, at Koopa Village. Or, uh, Petalburg. Well, it sells for three here. Fresh juice is the same. Pal blocks is still two. Okay. Spicy soup. Not worth it. I kind of wish I still had the fire flower so I could check. Uh, I don't know if there is a profit here. And again, look, you could buy the mushrooms here for five, but you could buy them in Petalburg for four, and then cook them all to mushroom fries and sell them for a one coin profit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, how much item space do I have? 
can only hold one more. Am I going to need pal blocks? No, let's put some stuff in storage. Okay, let's put stuff in storage. Let's throw in one of these. One of those. Okay. And I'll take the sleepy sheeps. I'll just completely stock up on them. Fill my inventory. Here we go. I'm gonna turn my leaves into tea. Because it is a better item. Yeah, I don't have the recipes memorized, so I don't know all of them. I'm doing the ones that I know. Another turkey leaf. All right, there we go. That clears that up. All right, off to Petalburg. And we need to buy four curd shells. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna use up one of my items. Let's use the end coupon. Stay for free. There we go, we used up an item. And I got my stats back up to full. There we go. Off to Petalburg, again. Again, it says we just need to get Kurt shells from anywhere. You can buy them in Petalburg. Maybe they could be an item drop from Koopas, but if you really want to go that route. One more trip. There we go. But yeah, if you really, really want to take the time to grind for money, you can just fill your entire item slots with Sleepy Sheeps. And just do the back and forth. And you could just do that the entire time. Ah, hold on. Let me over here. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Got the timing off, but it's okay. But we got one coin profit from it, so it was worth it, right? One coin for that battle? Totally worth it, I swear. Granted, if you run away, you lose coins, so... Yeah. Alright. Back at Petalburg. Let's go and sell my sleepy sheeps and then buy four curd shells. Alright. See? You, these sell for four coins instead of three. What's that? I kind of wish we could select multiple items to sell. Oh, well. Alright, I need to buy four of these. One, two... Oh, right, it, it just tells me. Not used to that. 
Alright. Well, we got enough points. Well, we could gather the points later. Right now, let's just head back. But again, if you want infinite money, sleepy sheeps it is. And then if you want to continue to make a profit when you're going back and forth, restock everything to normal mushrooms from here, and then turn all of them into shroom fries and then sell it for a one coin profit. But... It would probably just... It's so that way you at least make some money when you go to road court. But the time it takes to cook it all probably takes longer than just not buying the mushrooms and cooking them all and then just go back and buy Sleepy Sheeps. Actually, I'm, how much do curd shells sell at the shop? Because maybe that might be better. Hmm. So maybe that might be the better option. All right. Almost there. Again, I really wish Speedy Spin was here. No, I didn't find them. I want to see how much they sell for. Well, I have them. Can carry it. That's fine. I don't care. I want to see. Koopa shells sell for two coins. Okay, never mind. You don't get a profit for it. Ants. Okay. Let's complete this request. So, not curd shells. That's not a profit. An ultra shroom. Oh, wow. That's a good reward. That's too good. Okay, what is... What did I get? Just a regular mushroom? Makes sense. Okay. I am throwing that uh, Ultra Shroom in the storage, because that is too good. Alright. Well, I guess I'll leave it at that. Ice Storm Super Mushroom, Thunder Rage, Shooting Star Gold Bar, Life Mushroom, Ultra Mushroom, Jam and Jellies, and then Gold Bars times three. Those are all the points you can get. And I'm now le low on money, or less than what I had because I had to buy the... Oh! This is what I really want, is the W emblem, but it costs... I think it costs even more than what the GameCube version was. I could be wrong about that. Wow. Okay. Double the damage Mario takes from enemies. How would you want this? Just for the challenge? I really wanted the Wario emblem, but I have I don't have the money. Alright. Let's take a look at the west side. Let's explore around, see what people have to say. My dad's writing a novel, but it will never sell. It's terrible. Oh wow, harsh. I think this kid lives here. He's afraid of going to go outside, so he spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think, but it's none of our it's not our place to stick our noses in. Kids his age have so much to worry about, but don't we all? Grr, my wife spends all day at the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. How? What? 
I need to go off to places I've never seen. I need to go off to places I've never seen to get inspired to write or something. Oh, I see. That guy's a novelist and the owner of this house. He can be. He can. He has great ideas, but he can't write unless he's concentrating. I think he just psychs himself out. I mean, he's got the talent and all. Does he? The kid says he's not a good writer. Hi, Luna. I'm doing good. How are you to doing today? This is Roquart's west side. This is totally the friendlier face of Roquart. Not that it's, you know, a great place to raise a family, but it's a good for Roquart. The corner of this fountain is definitely the most restful spot in Roquart. This area is controlled by the Pianta Syndicate. Yeah, the parlor here is totally a, a front for the boss's business. So, I already finished chapter one, and been doing a lot of the side quests before even starting chapter two, so that's what's going on. Stream going so far? Other than that, uh, the stream itself has no crashes, so I say it's doing good. That's Toke from the west side. She's a big uh, theater goer, and apparently she's, a, she's also a raving fan of flurries. Wow, this town is so full... Maybe full of rogues and punks, but this part sure feels safe. Don Pianta is such a good job of managing things. I feel totally safe shopping here. Oh yeah, stream hasn't crashed, so in my opinion, eh, it's doing okay. Play just this game or a variety? I do a variety of games. Like just before this, I was playing Battle Network 5. So I do jump between games just to break it up. Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed, doing nothing. Oh well, I'm rich after all. That Koopa lives here. He must have been born lucky, because he's always succeeds. He has all the money he'll never need, but I think he's still he's still unfulfilled somehow. Hmm. Then again, that doesn't surprise me, since he spends all day in bed. Just goes to show you can't buy happiness. And you should occasionally leave bed. Yeah, uh, I like to jump between games after, uh, just to break things up and avoid burnout. Just don't know to start. What, just how, what do you mean by that? This fight goes to Glitzville. You'll need a ticket to travel with us. Can't do that, huh? That's Stuart, the blimp conductor. His job is to check blimp passengers' tickets. I hear he loved the sea, even as a child, and wanted to become a sailor. But now he's sailing the skies instead. I guess his dream sort of came true, huh? It's like the air sailor or something. This is Rookport Station. You can board in, uh, uh, board intercity trains or blimps here. The ex uh, XS Express bound for Poshley Heights is nice and shiny, isn't it? Wow. I bet all the town's kids are just dying to ride it at least once, you know? That blimp way over there is the air f at the airfield looks super cool, too. Blimps are awesome. And if you're just talking about just general streaming, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm doing it anyway, so. Yeah, that, yeah. I tell you, I like just standing here gazing at the train more than I would like actually riding it. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better. But if I could just get a Ford ticket, I might ride it once. That's Lackey, a train lovey Lackey too. All this guy does is sit here and watch trains. I'm sure he'd love to ride the XS Express, but he can't afford a ticket. I, it'd be cool if he saved up enough, enough to ride it just once in his life, you know. Well, all you need to do is buy Sleepy Sheeps and then go to Pedalberg for a two and sell them for a two coin profit. Just keep doing that. This is XS Express bound for luxury, the luxurious Poshley Heights. Passengers must pre pre present a ticket to board. I can't speak, but that's normal for me. That's Porter, the station manager here at Rogueport. He checks train tickets. Harry loves trains so much that he has, like, a billion model trains at home. Maybe he's just using his adulthood to buy all the things he wanted as a kid. Oh, one more person here. Ah, uh, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen many, uh, dramatic encounters as if... as there are stars in space. Wow, oh, the thought of it all. I just love it. This girl's always here. She's fixated on romantic scenes in train stations. I see where she comes from. Train station platforms do, do have that romantic air. Oh yeah, um, 
we just I start out with just picking a random game. Uh, well, not random. I played Fire Emblem 4, and that was like a first playthrough, and that's where I started. But then I just kind of jumped between games, because that's just kind of how I play. I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads it to, too. All too well. And I don't want to go there. That neighborhood kid. He seems like going out and exploring new pla- He seems to like going out and exploring new places. He has some big, big feelings about his family. I think that just shows how much he cares about them. <laughs> the boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. That's Rocco of the Piantas. He's the muscle that keeps the party moving, moving smoothly. He's new to the Pianta Syndicate, and still a long way from the top as far as I can tell. When I say if you were to stream, just play a game you like. That's probably just the best thing to uh, go with. That's a parlor customer. I think she leaves her humble home with the kids so she can play here all day long. Yeah, that's healthy. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My husband's worried about me. Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's riding, he doesn't notice what anyone else does. So she's a gambling addict. Huh? How you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just fan goombatastic. That's a Goomba who really likes this parlor. He always seems to be in a good mood. I wouldn't mind uh, winning like he does every now and then. Lucky stiff. Rope oh, okay, you say the same thing. Nothing specific about the parlor itself. Psst. Instead of coins, they use Pianta tokens here. You can get one Pianta for three coins from this changer right here. But you can't change Piantas back to coins, understand? Oh, Mario, that card! You got a member's card! Okay, I'll prepare the mini game. Uh, you can play with that member's card. How exciting! We can now play the playing game. What can I show you? What can you get from here? Cake mix? I think that's the only way to get cake mix. Which, that could be useful. Super mushroom, maple syrup, super appeal, really fun power jump. I already have one. FP pluses, HP pluses. Okay. I mean, nothing screams I need this now, but okay. Okay, definitely come talk to me if you ever need anything. This, oh, I can't. I can't tattle her. What about, what about the mouse? That's a parlor customer. She's a little mouser. It, it looks like. Good to see a girl in here. It's a good sign if this place is safe enough to, for regular folks to go into. Goombella? Out of all the people in here, th there's, there's two guys. And counting you, there's four girls in here. I think you're fine. In fact, there's more women in there than there were men. So, I think you're fine, Goombella. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to the West Side Goods. What can I do for you? So we can buy some new stuff here. I wonder if there's anything here that's worth selling for a profit. But I don't think I have anything that's worth it. It's hard to say. Anyway, leave it alone. Oh, okay, you. Let's see. Dum da 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 dum do! Every day is a lucky day with the happy lucky lottery. With new members every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick numbers, they might win each day. Just buy your lottery ticket here. One at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. And check board later. Check back later on this board and see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you might you'll get a super happy lucky plot prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come up eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean I mean according to your clock at home. Do you need me to describe No, I'm good. 
No. I will not buy one. It is not... If I remember correctly, it's not worth it. So, from what I understand, based on the GameCube version, how this actually works is... When you buy your ticket, you get a number. And... It's not necessarily random on what the number is, whether it's a winner or not. It's about how many days you actually just wait since you bought the ticket. So once you buy the ticket, if you want the top prize, you get, you just got to wait a certain amount of days. And then it will just pick the number eventually on, on like after like 70 days or something like that. It's very specific that way. It's not actually random, I guess, from what I remember of the GameCube version. I don't know if it's the same here. So I just don't bother. Oh, another day, another stupid losing lottery ticket. I'm sure I'll win tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be here until tomorrow. This guy really likes... No, he totally loves the happy, lo uh, happy lucky lottery. He wakes up each day with one thing in his mind. That day's winning number. Actually, I've, I've been forgetting to bonk everyone on the head. I've been forgetting to do that. My apologies. I'll get the rest later. There's one more here. Ah, uh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. The only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. That's Gomez, a, uh, the Goomba. He must be totally tired. He's always resting here. Who can blame him, though? Uh, we could use all of the downtime, am I right? Well, let's check through the grate. We can't go that way. Let's take... Oh, dang. Hold on. I want to go through the door to the right. My controller was going the wrong way. And by my my controller, I mean me. I had the controller in the wrong direction. Let's try that again. But yeah, we can't go to the left. Can't do anything there, so let's go through here. Now we're in this room. Can't go through there. Say, I've never seen your face around these parts. Who are you? Ah, huh, I get it. You're a wanted man above ground. And can't, can't be seen in town, eh? Huh? No? Oops. Sorry. Sorry about that. That's a subterranean Goomba. I think he just moved down here recently. Even so, he sure seems to know a lot about these ruins. What's he do for a living? Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go wild, and some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. After you jump on an enemy, try pressing A at the height of your rebound. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. That's Eddie the Mask. He's some kind of health fanatic. Lots of intense folks down here, huh? This one's the healthy kind of intense, though. So he knows about stylish moves. Ask him. What we got down here? Oh, did you come here to do research, too? Excuse me, you're an adventurer. Really? Ha, wow. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone describe their occupation as adventurer. Oops. This little mouser seems to be an archeologist, and she's here to research the underground. But she's worried about her partner all the time, so she's ma not making much progress. I feel so bad for her. Let's see, anything over... Yep, we got a star piece. Can't do anything about that. Anything down here. There's treasure. Soft stomp, lower their defenses, okay. Okay. Anything else? No, okay. Check the other buildings. Dang. Soft stop wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad. So what do we got in this shop? 
You can buy ultra mushrooms. You can buy gold bars or gold bars times three. But if I'm correct, they're just meant to sell. And there's jam and jellies. Gradual syrup. Soul mushroom. I think if you were to buy these, you're either buying them for cooking recipes, if that's even a thing for with gold bars, or you're buying them to sell them somewhere else. And if that's the case, I don't know where you would sell them. This manager of Deep Down Depot. She seems pretty cur courteous. Hey, hey, and there are some super classy items on display here. But jeepers creepers, what sort of person buys gold bars anyway? Freaks, that's who. You sure about that, Kimbella? That's an investment. Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. That's a bandit who lives underground. He seems to come by the shop often. He must like talking to Wonky, Wonky and the shop owner. Huh, go figure. Howdy! The, my name is Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know maybe even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask anyway. No, I'm good. If you pay me five coins, I suppose I could tell you about the big door. No thanks, I'm good. You need no stuff. Just ask me. That's Wonky, the go-to guy for useful info. He looks a bit iffy, but I think his tips are okay. Just make sure you get your money's worth. Nothing you know until you pay. I know stuff too, seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls, cause no one tells me. This bob lives down here. That pink color is really cute, but ironically, he's not very bright. I think he's got his own ambitions of being an info guy like Wonky, selling tips for cash. But his tips don't make even a tiny little bit of sense. Hello, can you say stupid? This is a special ref uh, refuge for all, where we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourselves. Come on. That's a uh, cola bar owner, Herb T. He's a middle-aged guy with a wild mustache. He may look like just another grass glass polisher, but he's an old-school cola bartender. He's hilarious, but I'm sure he's heard his share of super depressing stuff, too. Okay, anything back here? Yeah, I think that's all there really is in this section. I don't think there's really anything else to buy. We can't open that up. So let's take a look in here for a second. We're down below Roqueport. You can spend a lifetime studying the secret sound here. Let's use this. Oh, I thought that would go in the background. Uh, I thought that was the one that went in the background. Never mind. Either way, new enemies. Well, first things first, let's tattle on them. What info do we got? That's a sp uh, Spania. A Spinia with spikes on its head. It looks meaner too. Max HP 3, attack of 1, defense of 0. So sort of the same as a Spinia. You ought to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise, just wail on it. Gotta be honest, though. The way that thing spins makes me want to yak. Let's go with Earth Tremor for something different. Show off our crystal star. It's flat. Just press A when it lines up. There we go. Maxed it out. And all that for six damage. 
Now, it can hit flying enemies, but obviously the first couple sh ground shakes won't actually hit the flying enemy. But if you get enough, get your timings right and the ground hits the enemy for the first time, then it still does the same amount of damage. That's okay, whatever. Be that way, game. Let's just power shell. I'm not getting the timing right there. What's that? Come on. I timed it wrong, but Koops has some extra defense. He's a, he's a tank. Oh, we got some extra coins. Oh, by threefold. Wow, so worth it. Well, we got a slow shroom. But we can't continue. If we went through the gate, uh, would we have a way out? I don't remember. What's not? There doesn't seem to be a way around. Right, let's get rid of him. He has a thunderstorm. Too bad I can't do anything about it. Oh, he's gonna hit me with that. Yeah, nothing can be done. There it is. Yeah, five damage. That's that's gonna hurt. Star piece. I was going for it, but found one. Oh, it's not that one anyway. I might as well just jump on the one in the back. Doesn't really matter. Kinda wish I get more FP. Did not time that right. Yay! Regen! It works! Yeah. What do we got? Two coins, can't do anything here, and yeah, that's about it. I think we've explored all we can explore at the moment. Anything else left we could do? I don't think there is. I think we can now actually go start chapter two. Unless I want to make money for the investment. The stuff changed already. Mega Rush. Wow, yeah. Timing Tuner. Shooting Star. Alright. I... No, I'll deal with the investment. I'm not going to use the 300 then. Let's just try to move on. So you're that, I grind around the enemies below and just get one coin per battle. But I think we'll be fine. Let's just try to get a move on. Already spent two hours basically doing side quest stuff and exploring around. 
Aren't you what I think you are? Dazzle, but star pieces. Yes, this is what I wanted to check. Let's see. Chill out, pretty lucky. Flower finder. This is w after being a foe, make more flowers appear. That's what I want. Oh, quick change. Oh my god, if I had one more star piece, I could get both. Oh my god. What's more important, quick change or flower finder? I think flower finder might be more important. If I could just get one more star piece. Quick change is very good. But being able to use FP more often might be very useful. There we go. Any of these that I want? Happy Heart, Multi Bounce, Close Call, Power Smash, Piercing Blow. Uh, so. Now, I think I'll be fine. Flower Finder will just let me be able to spam FP moves more often. I can use FP moves with a little bit less worry. I mean, I can't spam it, but, you know, whatever. Alright, down here. Hey, Mario, do you see that? That was one of those things Professor Frickley mentioned. Yeah, let's go in. I think maybe we'll try like a little bit of the Pit of a Hunter Trials maybe next time after this chapter. I don't know. Eek! Don't, don't eat me! Huh? You didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd! No! Leave me alone, you big meanies! Oh, Mario, that was uncool. Don't say stuff like that. I thought you were nicer. Relax, little guy. We're not bullies, I swear. For, for real? Ew, boy, that's good. I thought in a second I might have been an accident. Might have been in an accident. Um, aren't you one of those creatures from Buggly Woods? Why are you down here? Wait, what? Why do you know about me? Uh, no, you must be... You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. Exons? What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you. So relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves Exonauts came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree... Those are the same bad guys who took the princess. They might be in the Boggly Woods to find the Crystal Star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some Crystal Star thingy. But we punies know nothing, don't know anything about crystal star, crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off. If you do, we'll give you, um, what was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it will help you, us reclaim, reclaim the tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking. You'll do it. Um, I guess we should. I feel pretty bad if we don't do anything. Molly, what? You want attention? Plus, we do need to get the Crystal Stars before those X guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name's Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Molly, what? Are you wanting attention, or do you need something? Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said something, uh, said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Okay, well, it seems like my dog needs to go outside. I'll take care of that here in a second, but first! Damage dodge! Boost defense by one! 
when you guard. Not bad. Probably would be useful for some for a challenge like this. You could get into the woods we punies live by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. Alright. So let's actually start chapter two. Chapter two! The Great Bogly Tree. Uh I think my dog needs to go outside. So give me a second while while I go do that. All right, I am back. Well, we went outside. Hopefully, she's done her business. Did you do your business? Well, you better have. There's your bone. It's over there. Bone's over there. Go get, go get your bone. All right, let's actually start chapter two. I refilled my water in the process. Ugly woods. Oh, looks so nice. So the Bogley Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. What will we run into next? Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, my little sister too. Come on, let's go. These are the Bogley Woods. Pretty surreal, huh? Looks like it's out of a picture book. It's pretty, but in an eerie sort of way, you know? <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. 
Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm -hmm. Find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We could just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is it, or is it, or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. My infor information, if my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him and get that map. Hmm. What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fa uh, following over there? Oh, what? You mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? That was so lovely. I just had to pick it up. Hm. Vivian, for shame. Picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting. Greedy. But enough of that, Vivian. My dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of, of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. Wee <laughs> What? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm. worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... <laughs> oh, what is it, Marlin? What? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense. You great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost a precious sketch. But listen, I... Uh, look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits. Such impudence. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child. It's clear to me that the only rationale you understand is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes? So sorry. But, but Beldum? Oh, you're horrid. He's in Bockley Woods. Kind of a dreamy little place, isn't it? Or a dreamy pretty place. It'd be nicer if it weren't crawling with enemies. But what you gonna do? <laughs> oh, what am I to do? This is the youngest sister of the three. The youngest sister of the three? Okay, the oldest one really picks on her, huh? I don't know whose picture they're talking about, but you think she really lost it? I guess that's the middle sister. She seems like the strong silent type to me. Hmm. I just can't get a good read on this girl at all. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us! Scram! Right now! I have no business with you. This shady woman is certainly selfish and mean. I mean, what a total meanie. You see how cruel she is to her own sister? I wonder what went on between them. There we go. Wait. Oh, is this a new remix? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is so this is so cool. I thought we weren't gonna get a new remix until like the tree itself. That's a cleft. Oh, a rock hard, uh, a rock head jerk with spikes on its noggin. What a rocker! HP a two, attack a two, defense a two. That hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. I think we would need to use the POW block. Yeah, that's all I really got. I can't use Earth Tremor yet. But that would have to be the other way I would have to beat him. There we go, we're getting some FP back. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a remix until the actual tree itself. But we're getting a remix throughout the entire area. That's cool. What we got. That's a pale pi piranha. You know about these guys. The famous pi piranha plants? This colorless subspecies is adopted 
adapted to Bogley Woods. Ah, oh, the wonders of nature. Max HP 4, attack of 2, defense of 0. Try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. So it's definitely a good idea to have poops out here. Oh, we got the super, super guard, that's good. How about we defend? It will be okay. I know there's a couple more enemies I want Gumbo to tattle anyway. If only I actually bought the the partner change. I just had to pick the uh, the partner change instead of the fire uh, the flower one. Uh, it's fine. Now we got more flower power. We're maxed out. Oh, wait a minute. Honey syrup. Perfect. Where are ya? There we go. So, let's go ahead and power shell. Damn, we're not getting the timing right. Oh, I think I remember the timing. I'm doing it completely wrong. Yeah, I did that wrong. However, get the shell toss and get the KO. Come on, more FP. Because I could basically only use like one or two skills. Yes! So worth it. You see that big tree over there? It's really big. It's kind of otherworldly, act other actually. Uh, yeah, we have to go down here first. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Oh, of course, it, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters live too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Yeah, we'll just follow him. You think we've entered the tree already? No, that's not how it works, even though it looked like we entered the tree. The base of the giant tree. It sure, it sure is big up close. I mean, wowzer, seriously. You must have watched over the Boggly Woods for over a thousand years. That's unbelievable. Then why wasn't it on the map in the first place? Why did it have to be added in with the Crystal Star? I don't know. Kind of weird. I mean, I like it. But if it if this tree's been here for a thousand years, as well as Hooktail Castle, why wasn't it on the map to begin with? That's Punio of the Punies. He sure is a hard-working little fella, huh? Don't you just want to cheer him on? I always root for the underdog, or whatever he is. Oh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. Oh, fool. Oh, quit being melodramatic. Although, it, it does look thick. What are we going to do now? Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it! Mario, over here! Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know. No, oh, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find it, remove the thingy. Boy, but remo removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough. 
Let alone an invisible one. Hmm. Oh, I got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she is a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use the wind powers to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back to in that direction we came from. Oh, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world! Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flash, uh, flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of my real, of the real world soothes my body and soul. But whatever br better is that I, Madame Fleury, glow ever more lovely here. Plus, the squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll be, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my. It's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of acceleration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make, make my stage come back. I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I shall just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! God, I tell you! My... My... Anyway. That's a thing. If we head east from here, we'll see Flurry's Flurry's place in no time. Well, we could grab the in coupon, I guess. What? Why are you here? He he's never here before. Huh? This is new. Is it because there's like? I think it might be because he's. N there's no, like, no shops for a little bit, so they wanted to give you an option without heading all the way back to Rogueport. Boggly Woods is a great name for this place. The trees, the flowers, even the ground boggles with the mind. It's pretty kind of boggly, though. A and from a high high up spot... Oh, baby, I'm talking pre uh, peak prettiness. Okay, first, let's go to Coops. Maybe powering up coops would have been a better idea than Bella. Still zero damage. I can't do anything. I guess in this case, because I have no... Oh, wait. I do have a way. Hold on. This is what I piercing below was helpful. Okay, in this case, let's swap to Gumbella. do anything to that. Well, I can, but... That's a dark butt. It's basically a tiny, mean thunderhead. Max HP 3, attack of 2, defense of 0. Sometimes it will charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Ouch! You know what I mean, right? Bzzz. Shocking. After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Be as fast as you can. Sadly, I can't really do that, but I'll give it my best. Bingo! Full HP recovery. Oh no, two damage. Whatever shall I do? There we go. I think that's all the new enemies for the moment. I think I can safely keep Cooper out. Or 
Coops, my bad. Not Cooper. Yay, more coins. Triple the coins. Wow, it's actually coming to use. Now I could do the investment if I wanted to. I'm not. I'm not gonna go back. Alright, what do we got? Eh, it doesn't really matter who attacks. Wait a minute. Power jump. Four damage. And then we head bonk. There we go. And besides, Goombella could deal two damage per attack instead of one, so Goombella's way better right now. But that's because of the power up. Here. That's just a normal switch. Stop it in or whack it to flip the switch. Yeah, you gotta raise the platforms. Alright. Oh, wait. I could go back for quick quick change. I mean I could Hood. Nope. Try that again. No. There we go. How many do I have? Um. I have two. I would need one more if I wanted to power someone else up. Grab that. Oh, Quake Hammer. Oh, that's useful. Okay, hold on, hold on. Who needs multi bounce? I need to get rid of at least one more. Uh, power jump was kind of useful there. Piercing blow, that's nice to have. Might not need it, but I'll keep it for a minute. I don't think I need close call. I don't think I need close call. Quake hammer. Granted, I th I feel like if I had the choice between quake hammer or piercing blow, quake hammer still might be better. So I'm not sure. Okay, let's test it out. See, it hits both of them for two damage. So, that's a new Laffy animation. I don't think that was there before. Can't really do anything. I can't hit him. So, unless I Earth Tremor, yeah. And I might get the level anyway, so Earth Tremor. That should be it. There we go. Well, the first uh, Tremor managed to hit him anyway. There we go. Oh, come on. Really? One star point left? That's just a troll move. Okay. Be that way. Mm. Yeah, sure. Because if enemies don't are not gonna respawn, I kind of need that HP. Now I really want to head back and get a uh, quick change, so I know that's gonna be useful. 
Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Madam Flurry, hello! If you're here, say something! Eek! No! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute! Those darling, squishy little footsteps! Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last! You poor dear! Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so they're in a pickle. And Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madame Fleury. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably... I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out with my favorite favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace. Uh, I didn't read the whole thing. Oops. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I'm all about the accessories. Hey, wait a second. You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu. Big time. I swear someone just said they found a ne necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clues as to, where, as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. After that, I'll almost certainly join you and help my squishy little friend, P Punio. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super. You can do it, right, Mario? Sure. Mm -hmm. Great, it's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you, so... What a totally nice house. Super, co super coordination between the red walls and furniture. I'm so jealous, it's not even funny. I have, like, no sense of interior decoration. I get... Nah, no, nah, I'm gonna save, save for later. Beldum, I told you, you blame me for losing the sketch. But you had it. Silence, you twit. Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study the sketch. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out his bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something about my lovelies. I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ack! He's Mr. Mustache! Go, go. Ack, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that. Well, that's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Ugh, it's not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning to you, but no more. Oh. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Well then. Well, we know what to do. Go all the way back to the beginning of Boggly Woods just to get a necklace and then we're gonna have to run all the way back after we get that necklace just to give it to Flurry and then run all the way halfway through to go back to the tree backtracking actually I will do this fight Like Quake Hammer is only going to work on the one guy. So, piercing blow to save some FP. And then we'll have you go ahead and attack the one in the back. There we go. And 
And I can't hit you. There's nothing I can do. This kind of sucks. I guess we'll just defend. I guess it probably would have been a better idea to save the cleft for later. And just take it take out both clouds. There we go, we leveled up. And you know what it is, batch points. Hi uh, Molly, I know you're super excited about batch points. Where's your ball? Get your ball. I do think it takes longer for the level up animation to finish. From what I see, it recovers your HP first, then your FP, and then your star points, like, in that order. When I believe in the GameCube version, it just filled them all up at once. So, points to the GameCube? I guess. Just ignoring these guys. There we go. Well, if it isn't Mario, shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you come here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Cause we're waiting for you. Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had the. Wait a minute. What? You've been waiting for Mario. What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply cannot allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so, I'll be taking that little map of yours as just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map of crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach, or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed. But if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The three? Shadow Sisters! Oh, I don't like that name. I mean, I prefer Shadow Sirens, but that's me. Whatever. I'm used to it. The three Shadow Sisters? Fifi, you nigkapoo! What are you babbling on about? It's just shadows! The three shadows! Sisters makes us sound less mysterious and less scary. How many times must I remind you? Right, sis, I'm sorry. It's just, it makes me really happy when you call me your sister, so... Really? Okay. Yep. Okay. How insufferable! Sappy! Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Aw, oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Mar Marlin, Vivian, the might of the three shadows, Relation withheld will be more than enough to win this day. Okay. Okay, I like this remix. It is most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Barely, Vivian, but show them precisely what we can do. Go. Yes, sis. Alright, so first things first, let's start tattling. Let's go after Belden first. What do we got? That's Belden. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the Three Shadows. Max HP 9, attack 1, and defense is 0. But her Blizzard attack has an attack of 2. She can make her partners big and make us tiny, and attacks with weird magic. The worst thing about her is that Sinister Snicker... She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you want to avoid like the plague, you know? Let's see. Uh, we want to get rid of Beldum first. But I can weaken all of them with Quake Hammer. Sure. I mean, it's only like two damage, but I hit all of them. Got 
one super guard. Uh, I didn't get the timing right. Good, good. I could take out Beldum right now. And then if we jump... There we go. Ah, now it's up to you. Getting rid of the one that buffs the party members is a good idea. Got that wrong. Okay, she buffs herself. Let's see what I can do. That's Marilyn. She's one of the three shadows, Beldum's younger sister. Max HP 12, attack at 2, and defense at 0. She, she charges her attacks occasionally. Says here she's the toughest of the sisters, so it might be the best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics. I went after her first because, yeah, she buffs herself, but Beldum can buff her even more. So that's why we went that route. Got the super guard. Got the super guard there. Who needs to charge up when I can just super guard? Alright. Tattle. Last one. That's Vivian. She's the youngest of the three shadows. HP of 10, attack of 1, and defense of 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she's kind of cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. I, I guess. Wow, I think I might be jealous. All right, well, what we can do... Earth Tremor. Let's see. This should take down Vivian and... Marilyn will be at one HP. Sorry, sis. And super guard. Dunzo. Uh, I was hoping for more lovely. Whatever. <laughs> oh, maybe I just touched. Maybe we're just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your own weight. Well, then, prepare for a world-class punishment session. Then we get home. Leave the necklace. Oh. Yep, and we get the necklace. That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. I think I want quick change. I think I'm gonna leave and go grab it. I want that in my uh, badges. Because I use my partners a lot. Do you have to leave for a bit, Mario? That's okay. I know you'll come back. So I'll wait for you here. I have never seen that dialogue because I have never left mid-chapter. So that's new to me. But I'm pretty sure that was there in the original. It's just I never have a reason to leave. What is it, Molly? I don't think we're going to get another Shine Sprite for a bit, so it's not like I'm going to power up Coops or anything. So we're just going to get the Quick Change. And when we do get another Shine Sprite, I'm not going to leave mid-chapter just to power someone else up. What? Molly, what? She wants something. Hold on. 
either that means she needs to go out again and she didn't go or there's something else she wants. All right, quick change. Seven BP. They knew how good it was in the first game. But I do want to utilize it. Let's see. Quake Hammer is probably more useful than Piercing Blow, we, so I don't think we need that. I need three more. I get... E I know it's blasphemy to get rid of Power Bounce, but I'm also not that great at it. And also, like, while I really only banned the combo, I only used Power Bounce for that one attempt, and it didn't work, but yeah. Let me... Come on. Come on. Let me see what Molly wants. Hold on. Give me a second. Sorry about that. I'm back. All right. So we got quick change. Let's head back to Bogley Woods. Actually, you know what? If I... Um... How much money do I have? How much money do I have? You know what? Let's make that investment. Because, honestly, I actually have some stuff to do, so I was going to plan to wrap it up once we got Flurry, but at the same time, I was going to, if it's right there anyway, I might as well just save that for uh, next time. I don't know. I don't know if this is the best call to do this now, but whatever. I just got I just got some stuff to do. So let's start with do another investment. Sure, I'll invest. 
So much money to my endeavor. This should be more than enough. I promise you, I will strike a whale. So expects good news. Okay, yeah, so he does have a cap of 300. That's good to know. I was pretty sure he did, but, you know, it's nice to make sure. Is there anything here? Timing tuner. I mean, nothing I can buy, but anyway. Anyway, well, sadly, I'm just going to call stream here. I wasn't fully planning on it, but I got some stuff going on. And also... I feel like the next best spot to stop is at the end of, of chapter two. Am I winning? Well, I guess because I'm about to, I was just trying to wrap it up act. Sorry about that. Uh, I got some stuff going on, so I had to go in the office today. What did we miss? Uh, honestly, not. I, I don't think you missed too much. Mostly I spent like two hours uh, doing the trouble center as well exploring the west side of Rogueport. I started chapter two. Uh, hold on. I did start chapter two. We just fought, where is it? There's town walk. We just fought Beldum, uh, Marilyn and Vivian, and we got the necklace back. So the next goal is to actually go recruit Flurry and then do the Bogley Tree. But I got some stuff going on, so I got to wrap it up. And I figured this is the next best spot I could wrap it up. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see what else did you miss. Uh, so I did all the Trouble Center stuff that I could do at the moment. Uh, I invested 300 coins to the guy that's going to dry dry desert to strike for oil uh, yeah I'm trying to think of what else there actually is again mostly it was the trouble singer stuff but yeah oh there's also new music in Bogley Woods or I should say new battle music so it seems like every area has a new remix but anyway thanks for everyone who showed up even ever so briefly <laughs> I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time if you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scottbot64 Stream Archives. There is a link in the About page. Tomorrow, we shall finish Chapter 2. And then probably do more Tattles or Trouble Centers uh, after that. Anyway, have a good day. Later.